Is that Hi. correct? Yeah. 30. I'm and 30. 31, please be ready. Hi, I'm Kendra Canavan, and I'm 16 years old. I think I am the youngest person in this room. Um, my story starts about a year ago uh, in April. I went on a fun trip to Mexico with my foreign exchange student, and I, um, I did nothing crazy. I'm a 16-year-old. I really can't drink. So, you know, it was just a fun trip with my, my friend. Um, but I was getting this really strange reaction, and I thought it was because of their water, but unfortunately it was because of their, their salt. In Mexico, they fluoridate their salt, and here in many of our states we fluoridate the water, but I was lucky enough to be born in Suffolk County on Long Island where they don't. I came back to New York, and I then proceeded to go to my dentist and get my last fluoride treatment because I am 16 years old. That was the last one I can get with my insurance. I had woken up the next morning with a very, very bad reaction around my mouth and nose area. I had to go to an allergist and ask him what the problem was, and I thought, I, don't, I have no idea, maybe it was tomatoes because I had like pizza the other night. I was confused. So um, it turns out they thought I had herpes. Um, they, I, they kind of laughed at me at first. They were just like, you just came back from Mexico, right? You're, you're a teenager. <laughs> I mean, come on. And I was like, I, I, that, that's not, that can't be it. My mom researched it, and they did a test on me, and I am allergic to fluoride. Um, I spent the past year educating myself on the side effects of fluoride and how it affects the body negatively and how it affects the body positively. And you know what? I'm sorry, but I really, it's so hard to find any reason to have fluoride in your body in the first place. And let me tell you, yes, fluoride does help your enamel. It's, it covers the bone and it helps with density. It makes it weigh more, but it makes the bone itself weaker. And people who have their hip, hip, hips replaced, they have done tests on the bones to see how easily they break. And people who lived in fluoridated, watered places, and the people who had more fluoride on their bone, while their bone weighed more in density, the bone was weaker and broke more quickly. Fluoride, to me, is a poison. And unfortunately, it is a poison to everyone else, everyone here. One-tenth of an ounce, if you have straight hydrofluorisic acid, which is what fluoride is. They just call it fluoride because that's what it becomes when you dilute it with water. They call it fluoride, but it's hydrofluorisic acid. If you had one-tenth of an ounce, you would die. There was a study. What I did was I went to the doctor, I went to the dentist, he gave me a fluoride treatment. He put it in my mouth and he told me to spit it out. Clean your mouth out with water. I was fine. Unfortunately, this has happened to a child where he was in the dentist's office, the dentist left for only a moment, the child swallowed the fluoride, rushed to the hospital, and unfortunately they could not save his life, he was dead. So, I come to you pleading. I am allergic, and I see the problems that it presents in our society. Obviously, I'm not alone, and I came hoping that my friends could come with me, but we're all good students and we go to school. But I came because I'm just so passionate about this poison. I actually watched a documentary with Paul in it, and when I saw you come up here, I was like, oh my god, I'm a celebrity. Um, but unfortunately, I have been trying to educate myself on all of the harms of fluoride, and it is almost impossible to find everything about it. And it's, it's almost impossible to find out all the information about it because it's all hidden. It really is. You'll see one thing about it helping you and another thing about it not. And, I, and I t I've talked to doctors before. My uncle is a dentist, and he talks to me about fluoride and the effects of it. And, and really, it's all about money. Who's have making about money? a minute left. Thank you. Everyone, think about the pros and the cons. And think about how many cons there are compared to how many pros there are because I can only see one thing and it's if we are saying no then why are you forcing it upon us thank you thank you very much number 30